I'm in the mood to paint something psychedelic. It is Christmas time, so I suppose colorful is the theme. I was in West Coast Park, Singapore, and I was flying my drone, bumped into Mr. Leong Chai Chai, and then took some photos, came home and sketched it. It intrigues me that in Singapore, there's still uh, rustic places like this, but it's a very small patch of the West Coast beachfront, uh, if you can call it beachfront. Well, it's more like a, a walkway and uh, it's where the sort of walkway meets the water. Um, there's still some boats, small, you know, dinghy and stuff, uh, I suppose. Uh, very interesting. There are, of course, also the bigger boats um, and these boats are parked across next to the uh, big uh, yacht club uh, it's actually the Re republic of singapore yacht club you can see on the right uh, that's where it is so yeah so i was out here droning uh, taking shots at the uh, west coast park and guess who i bumped in chai chai uh, he was uh, painting alone uh, but enjoying himself probably having a day break break from uh, taking care of his grandchild Excellent. And he has a fan in the back as well. So I went up to say hi, Mr. Leong, how are you? Uh, he was saying that, yeah, can't really sketch with the rest with the COVID-19 situation. So he's sketching by himself, just easier to sketch uh, without having to wait for one another. So it's always good to be out. You never know who you bump into in a situation like this. It's always fun to bump into people that, you know, uh, sketching and in my uh, practice of art, it's been amazing. Wherever I go, major cities in the world, uh, Tokyo, Berlin, Taipei, you find people that uh, are interested in art. You, you know they are connected through Facebook. It's a lot of fun. Practicing of art is about, as much as about social, it's about the art itself. And um, it's been a joy and it's been a fantastic time. So back in the studio, we're gonna start painting. West Coast Park, start from some of the photos, from one of the photos I've taken uh, from the place. Let's see how it goes. Uh, the photo looks something like this. And uh, yeah, and I hope uh, you know you will watch me uh, sketch it, right? So let's start. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, my one of my favorite pen. This is a Sailor uh, Banded Nib. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's one of those pen, it's very light. Uh, and I filled it with um, uh I think this is a Diatramentis uh, archival ink. Uh, and I intend to just make it very, very simple, very, very uh, sort of a light and ink wash sort of approach to it. So rather than my usual black Palamino black wing uh, pencil sketch, I'm going at it with uh, a fountain pen sketch so uh, bold and you know just go straight into the key uh, object the two boats um, in the foreground um, again I don't capture the you know the tiny detail it's really just to capture the essence of uh, the picture if you like uh, I'm also indicating the horizon uh, at the back uh, so that would be the background uh, in the mid ground, uh, slightly behind the two small boats will be two uh, bigger boats. Uh, one, uh, as you can see, uh, in front of the other. And uh, I think these are patrol boats. Um, well, either that or they are, you know, guards, uh, Singapore Coast Guards boats. I'm not sure. But uh, one has a Singapore flag on it, so maybe it is. Um, and again, I don't really draw every tiny detail, but really just to capture a bit of uh, the uh, the essence of it. And uh, there are some power plant sort of uh, stack, smoke stack, and uh, also I indicate that those are all in the, the background. So yeah, that's it. Pretty much uh, keep it easy. We're gonna splash some colors. So I'm gonna try to paint this. Uh, first, I use uh, two brush. One is sort of like I think this is like six or eight. This is like four or six, I can't remember. Anyway, smaller, bigger, both uh, you know, uh, two brushes is enough for such a small sketch. Uh, clean water and dirty water. I use two because uh, the idea is that 
uh, as you use the dirty one to clean your brush and then you use a clean water is basically to use uh, to dilute the paint down or whatever it is. I use a spritzer, it's always handy next to where I'm painting. Uh, the 16 palette colors that I've, I've been using for a while now uh, and this made in China sort of very interesting mixing plate uh, mixer palette and uh, rags tissues always nearby uh, and if ever I need to white opaque coming to the rescue that's it so let's start so these are the couple of recipe I have in my head uh, painted this before psychedelic rhino and <laughs> psychedelic statues uh, the recipes I'll share with you uh, first I usually use a transparent blue in this case it's a cobalt blue um, light washed uh, random you know patches if you like uh, really there's no shape and form uh, other than I paint negatively in other words I paint the sky away from the objects uh, the boats being the objects and uh, yeah and just to you know dilute it down and so on I add a bit of green uh, a bit of phthalo green a bit of uh, green gold to it uh, again sort of uh, reflect um, you know and I'm not being careful in fact I'm just simply you know let the brush dance around and slap it on <laughs> it is after all psychedelic painting um, and here's where I add a bit of the queen roast um, making it a bit of a purple published colors it's not purple because you don't mix it uh, same you know smaller depths to the water uh, at this point um, here I'm beginning to sort of put a bit of the cadmium color cadmium yellow and cadmium orange this is where they make the sort of purplish color pop in some ways it is a yellow purple combination uh, that's kind of like the color that I'm going after but not you know in pure form but in bits and patch um, you know uh, basically just have it dance around and so on and here I'm uh, putting in a bit more of uh, diluted colors here and there uh, I'm going now uh, with a darker sort of uh, value uh, darker rates darker green uh, you know I'm still thinking Christmas so <laughs> green and red going in and uh, that's just to make the front two uh, objects the two boats uh, pop if you like and uh, lighter version of the colors um, gr bluish green if you like uh, just to in indicate a bit of a shadow uh, in the uh, ship the bigger ship in the middle um, and yeah and basically just to make sure that I try well I try to separate the shapes if you like and soften the edges of the one at the far end so that it doesn't take your eyes are not uh, taken uh, in to the hard edges of uh, the objects on the side uh, the focus should be in the middle or in the you know, off center right but not on the object on the side uh, the smokestack as you can see uh, and uh, a little bit of uh, you know background grayish far out sort of shapes I'm not even thinking and I'm not looking at the photo at this point I'm just you know going with gut feels um, growing it out so to speak uh, a bit of a uh, devil here and there with colors to, um, making it as colorful as I can get away with uh, and splatter a little bit here and there of course as always splatter as much as you can get with I, in this case I didn't really splatter a lot but I think a little bit you know doesn't hurt so uh, not quite done but I need uh, to wait for it to dry and so I decided to put my name down uh, put a date uh, and uh, also to indicate uh, you know where this uh, reference photo comes from uh, West Coast Park uh, in Singapore well as you look at uh, your half done painting uh, there's a need to exercise patience. Well, one thing about art is um, membership or the people that you hang out with. The other thing is really it, uh, it teaches you patience because you know, in, especially in watercolor, because you can't rush it. The water needs to be dry before your next layer. So I wait for it to dry and then the next layer sort of go in much darker blue, uh, French ultramarine, maybe a dab of uh, permanent alizarin crimson along with it. Uh, maybe a bit of dab of uh, queened burnt orange as well to make it more neutral uh, and you know again this is like sculpting the, the boat if you like uh, but I'm not being very careful at this point uh, just trying to 
you know, put minimally uh, as much as I can get away with. I think I need to go darker on the, the ship in front just to separate the two shape. Uh, and uh, since it wasn't really separated, uh, the values were too similar. So I decided to go darker on the one in front. Um, and uh, yeah, and I'm still going a bit darker on the far buildings, uh, the smokestack and power plant or whatever it is. Uh, and a bit of shadow underneath the boat, a uh, bit of uh, shape, three-dimensional, you know, sculpting if you like. Uh, if you watch some of my other videos, you know I like to sculpt the shapes to make it a little bit three-dimensional. It is two-dimensional paper, so your job as an artist is really to create the feel of uh, uh, three-dimensional structures in it. So I think I'm kind of done. Um, that's it for a psychedelic, colorful sketch uh, with a Christmas mood. To go. I hope you enjoy that and uh, thank you very much and peace wherever you are.